yet another mentoring moment. It's Friday, April 27th. And um, I was thinking about how crazy it is that um, if you don't really pay attention to what you're doing, a lot of time will go by and you'll not be happy with the results or just with the amount of time that's gone by before you're consciously aware of what it is that you're doing. And um, yesterday I was sitting in a class at Corson Elementary School and um, I was helping mentor a student who was having a hard time or just he just has a hard time in general. He, um, is, you know, autistic. Um, they think maybe he might be bipolar because he talks uh, very negatively. He just says and does some really, really, really violent things. But it's still a little kid, a little six-year-old boy. Um, like Super Mario. Um, he likes blue. You know, he just likes little stuff. And um, yesterday, as I'm walking with him and his instructional aide, um, he was talking to me and I was talking to him. And she was like, you know what? I really admire how well you work with the kids. I was like, well, thank you. I'm a dad. And she was like, you know what? I was talking to one of my coworkers yesterday and I was asking her, where have I seen you before? And it hit me. You used to take your daughters to and from Greg Anderson and you would always have one of them on your shoulders. I was like, yeah, when my, my oldest was in kindergarten, I didn't, I wasn't working the way I'm working now. I actually was just a stay at home dad. So I picked her up and dropped her off at school every day. So that was my way of showing her that she was special or that, um, you know, I was going to be a different parent regardless, you know, what was going to happen. And um, she's like, wow, you know, I, I never really forgot that because as your younger daughter got older, I remember seeing her on your shoulders too. And I always thought that that was a really cool thing and never thought that that cool dad was you. That was the whole reason why I did it. I didn't tell her that. No disrespect to her. I didn't tell her that. But why would I be weird? Why would I be different? Why would I stand out with my parenting or my coaching or any of that? To give my kids their their confidence. To give them that okay. You know, that, that confirmation that you can be whoever you want to be. Or do whatever you want to do. As long as it's positive And as long as you, um, you know, can stand by the decisions you make. So I thought it was crazy that some of the stuff that people laughed at me about, like, oh, look, what, every day you take your daughters to school is like a ride at an amusement park or, oh, you look like a little horse, you know, with your daughters on your back like a carriage or, oh, they're going to have you wrapped around their finger because, you know, you do those little type of things. Well, my daughters don't have me wrapped around the finger. I mean, they do. They don't know it. For example, my Looney Tune tie-dye sweatshirt today. Both of these little girls had already had themselves dressed in their matching tie-dye hoodie shirts and had their hair almost done and everything. And I had no inspiration on how I wanted to get dressed today. I just look in the closet and grab something and go. And I just make sure, you know, what's on my feet matches. But um, I thought it was cool that they finally had one of those, like, sister moments where they matched without us asking them to. So I matched with them and took off to school made me feel amazing later on where everybody's like oh well your sweatshirt's so awesome i love it I'm like thank you i love my daughters more and to think i have to sustain this level of um of relevance and trying to be fly and swaggy and whatnot so that kids can say hey i respect what he's saying and i respect how he looks because aria got a long road ahead as well she's not even in school i got to I got to make it another five years so I can try to do this even bigger and better for her. So um, get with it, y'all. Dress for success on Thursdays. Dress up like you're going in for a job interview. On Fridays, get fresh or something different. Be weird. Focus on the future.